Hello, my awesome scientist. So tonight we are going to finish up our life science study of ecosystem. Um, and tonight we want to talk about environmental changes to ecosystem. Um, so we're going to be talking about how different things that either humans do, other organisms do, um, or natural um, events can do to change an ecosystem, either for the better or for the worst. So you need to be on page 152 um, with the handout I gave you in class. You will be filling out the front and the inside as you follow along with the PowerPoint. Okay, so changes are always happening in our ecosystems. Um, these changes can positively or negatively affect the organisms that live there. Um, like I said, these changes can be caused by natural events like floods and fires and hurricanes and tornadoes or flooding. Um, it can happen by other living organisms that already live there. Um, you know, organisms can catch diseases which can affect everybody else or new organisms can come into the ecosystem and affect it that way. And then also human activity. We are responsible for a lot of changes in the ecosystems and a lot of those changes will benefit us, but they don't benefit the animals necessarily that live there already. Okay, and so when these changes happen, organisms will have to either move, migrate, adapt, or die. Okay, so when these changes happen, if the organism can't adapt or doesn't move away, then a lot of these changes can have a negative effect in them um, and cause them to die. All right, so we're going to look at um, eight causes and see their effects on the ecosystem. Okay, so the first cause is a drought. And all a drought is is a period of time, it's usually a pretty long period of time, when there's not a lot of rain. Um, and think about, you know, a couple years ago, Texas was in a really bad drought and, you know, evaporation is happening every day and every day, but there's no precipitation happening. And so the lake levels would go down and down and down and down. Um, and it's not good for our environment to go through a drought for such a long period of time. Um, so the effect is crops and plants can die, animals will have less water, and the lake levels can decrease. And when the lake levels decrease, that's going to also change that home for the fish and the other organisms that live in the water. Our next cause is going to be what they call deforestation. And deforestation is just a fancy word for when they cut down trees. Um, and the effect can be, of course, that the forest animals are going to lose their habitat and their shelter. And then if we cut down the trees, we are also, um, we, we are taking away our oxygen supply. Um, the next cause that humans are responsible for is building highways and buildings, which the effect is that it helps humans, it helps our ecosystem, it helps us to get around, but it destroys animal and plant habitats. Um, and you see, think about it, if we draw, if we go into a forest and we cut out the middle of that forest and put a road through it, okay, we just cut through part of the animal's home. And so they might try to cross the street and get hit by a car. Um, they might, we might cut off their food supply, you know, so they, they're going to have to figure out a new way to survive and thrive in their ecosystem. Um, another cause is called overgrazing, and this is caused by the organisms themselves. And overgrazing is when there's too many herbivores that are grazing, and grazing just means they're eating the grass, and there's too many herbivores eating the grass, and so all the plants, you know, are not existing anymore because they're eating so much of it that it, de it significantly decreases the amount of producers in the food web and that can affect, you know, it starts at the bottom where it affects that organism and then it just keeps on going and if there's too much overgrazing then it's not good for the plants and they can't reproduce like they would normally do with their life cycle. Another cause by humans is fertilizing the soil. Um, a lot of farmers will fertilize the land to help their plants grow. So that would be one positive thing is it can help the plants grow, but fertilizers can also be harmful to some animals. So if you're fertilizing the soil and the rain comes along and the rain 
erodes that soil down to the water, to the pond, and that fertilizer gets into the pond, then that can affect the fish and turtles and all the organisms that live in there. So while it can be beneficial to the plants, it can also be harmful to some animals. Um, another cause is a natural cause, where it can be a natural cause or a man-made cause actually, would be forest fires. And they actually have a positive and a negative effect, which a lot of people don't realize. So the negative effect is obvious. It's going to destroy so many habitats and plants and animals. But forest fires can also open seeds for new plants to grow. So that would be a positive effect of the forest fires. Another cause by humans is overhunting and overfishing. Um, the effects can be that it can cause organisms to go extinct. And also, if we overhunt or we overfish, then we take away a food supply for another organism. And so that can, again, affect that food chain and that food web. Um, and then the last cause we're going to talk about is introducing invasive species. Um, and basically, that's when a new species comes into an environment, whether it is naturally that that new species come in or humans can sometimes introduce a new species into an environment. And it has lots of effects. Um, the major effect is that it can decrease the native species. And when I say native, I just mean the original species to that place. Um, you know, whatever organisms lived there already before this new species came in. That's what native means. Like, um, some of you are native to Mexico because you were born in native some, or in Mexico. Some of you are native to Texas because you were born in Texas. Um, so it's the original uh, animals and plants that lived there. Um, but anyway, when you introduce a new species into an ecosystem, um, it can potentially decrease the native original species that live there because they start using up the food supply, the water supply, and space. And the picture right here that you see, this is a plant called kudzo. And you can see it's this plant that grows. Um, it can spread out on top of other plants that already live there. And so think about that. If, if kudzo comes into an ecosystem and it's completely covering all the other plants that live there, then the native plants are going to start to decrease because they're not gonna, their leaves are not going to be able to get sunlight. Um, the kudzo is on top of it now, so it's going to start getting all the water and the carbon dioxide first, and so the other species might start to die. Um, the same can, thing can happen if you add new fish into a pond or add, you know, a new animal into the desert. You know, all of these things can affect the species that already live there.